Want to see your favorite killer robot movie with double the blood and gore? You may be in luck. Here's what Megan's screenwriter said about a possible unrated version of the film coming to a screen near you. Time and time again, horror has proven to be one of the most successful genres of them all, thanks in part to low budgets with big rewards. Case in point, look at Megan, which raked in over $30 million in its opening weekend against a modest $12 million budget. If the killer robot wasn't one of Blumhouse's top priorities beforehand, it is now. How could she not be? Last Last October revealed the teaser that set the internet ablaze, with the titular android dancing on the way to her next kill. Megan Fever was in full effect. On top of director Gerard Johnstone, the success of Megan can also be attributed to its screenwriter, Akela Cooper, who made her feature film debut with the script for Hellfest. But everything changed once the bonkers ride that is malignant came to the screen. It's a delicious piece of camp from Cooper and director James Wan that knew exactly what it was doing. Megan only further proves that Cooper's an exciting new voice in the world of horror, who knows how to balance genuine thrills with a dark sense of humor. If you've seen the film, then you know that, unlike the gory showmanship of Malignant, Megan toes the line typically associated with the PG-13 rating. But when you listen to Cooper speak about the film, it's clear that Megan initially caused a lot more damage than what ended up on theater screens. I won't let anything harm you. While talking to the Los Angeles Times, although Cooper doesn't explicitly say that Megan was shot for an R rating, it's heavily implied that the violence in the finished film had been cut down from what it was before. Cooper told the outlet, She did kill a bunch more people, including a couple of characters whom James Wan was like, I like what you did with those people, but I want them to live. I was merciless, but again, that is me. My humor is extremely dark. You don't have to go too far to see changes made, as there's a moment toward the end of the first trailer from last October where a character is showered in blood. In the film, however, that scene is relatively bloodless. Although according to Cooper, for those hoping to see the version of Megan prior to its trimmings, an unrated cut should be on its way very soon. Cooper told the LA Times, there should be an unrated version at some point. I heard it is on the books, but yes, it was way gorier. Her body count in the script was higher than in the movie. It's not too surprising that Megan was cut down, especially since the viral marketing lent itself to a teenage market. Cooper explained to the LA Times, no shade to Universal, love them, and I understand that once the trailer went viral, teenagers got involved and you want them to be able to see it. All of social media essentially blew up the moment the world saw Megan dancing with a guillotine trimmer in hand. It's conflicting because of a few reasons. Blood or no blood, Megan is a good movie with an awesome antagonist. The film is a fun slice of gateway horror that will likely entice younger audiences to seek out horror movies on their own. On the other hand, in its current form, it feels like there's a crucial piece of the puzzle missing, especially with its watered-down deaths. You can tell that there's a mean edge that's been slightly sawed off. Cooper has talked about how she wanted to lead that charge when it came to bringing gore back to the screen, and Malignant proved that there is a market for it. The screenwriter told the Los Angeles Times, Times. I'm happy that I could have a hand in bringing back fun horror that doesn't take itself so seriously. I'm reading about more horror movies that are wild, out there ideas, coming out or being bought. Here's hoping that the folks at Blumhouse let Cooper and Johnstone steer the ship towards that bloodier future she's envisioned when it comes to the inevitable Megan sequel.